Hey guys, it's your local degenerate on the internet, technical difficulties here, and today we're going to do a bit more of an educational video this time, where we're going to study the mind and personality traits of the average... Wait, what do you mean we couldn't get any... Well, where the fuck is he? I gotta do everything myself. Personality tests. Yep, those, uh, those things that keep popping up when I'm just trying to mind my own goddamn business while perusing sites I don't even want to fucking be on. Those things certain people base way too much of their lives on. You know exactly who I'm talking about. ENFP isn't an identity. STFU. You know what? I, I think that's going to be my response next time. Uh, I, I'm an STFU. Yeah, I like that. Really, though, like... This shit is just astrology for more sophisticated folk. At least that's how I see people treating it. Uh, sorry, I can't go to the party. My I-N-T-J-D-I-L-L-I-G-A-F is acting up again. Look, I would, but... He's... he's an E-S-F-J, and that's just not really good for me right now. Look, like... With astrology, I'm not gonna let some fucking star lion dictate what I do in my life. All right, because that's what anxiety's for. Wait, hold the fuck on, where were we? Right, taking this fucking test. Look, I'll be honest, I'm like half convinced this thing's a ploy to get my fucking information. You spend a lot of free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. Why the fuck do you think I wound up like this? You often make a backup plan for a backup plan. Listen. There are times I don't trust myself to do shit, okay? I'm the type of person who saves their game like 10 times because I'm not letting that shit happen again. I've had to make contingency plans for shit because I knew, I knew my future dumbass self would forget to do something. And then occasionally forget to make the contingency plan in the first place. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Yep, um, proud member of the Punchbowl Club right here. You feel comfortable walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. Ew, gross, no. You are prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. <laughs> uh, why, why you gotta fucking do this to me? Oh, for fuck's sake, dude, just lie. You enjoy watching people argue. Alright, let me tell you a story. Uh, so one time a few years ago, I was invited to a party. And I don't know whose idea it was, but someone suggested we play Mario Party or Mario Kart, which is always a, a great idea. But anyway, uh, the former was picked, and I sat out because I don't, I, I didn't know how to play. All right, I didn't know how to play Mario Party. Not even half an hour in, a screaming match starts and someone gets thrown to the ground and put in a hold. Now, as one of the more physically strong people there, I probably could have done something, but, you know, in my defense, shit was hilarious. You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Well, not until you said that, you fucking pricks. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take for them to feel disappointed in you. Again, not until you said that, you fucking pricks. Trying to make me self-conscious, jeez. And now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Your personality type is... The Logician. I-N-T-P-T. Whatever the fuck that means. Alright, it says here that logicians pride themselves on their unique perspective and... Vigorous intellect. They can't help but puzzle over the mysteries of the universe, which may explain why some of the most influential philosophers and scientists of all time have been logicians. This personality type is fairly rare, but with their creativity and intensiveness, logicians aren't afraid to stand out from the crowd, which is why you should all like and subscribe. <laughs> from the outside, logicians may seem to live in a never-ending daydream. And that hit a little too close to home. <laughs> right. Now I'm starting to see why people treat this stuff like their daily Scorpio reading. Strengths. Thanks to their unrelenting imagination, 
logicians can come up with creative, counterintuitive ideas that wouldn't occur to most people. Not all of these ideas are feasible, of course. Well, I guess that explains a bit. Look, I never said I always made good decisions, alright? Like, the time a while back when I got lazy and tried to make eggless, milkless French toast using syrup as, as a substitute instead. You can probably guess how that went. Still not even sure if making this video was a good idea either. Weaknesses. I'm... I am not reading these out loud. I am going to feel weird, and I don't need that shit right now. Well, thanks for joining me on whatever the hell this was. Uh, kinda wanted to try something a little different this time around, so, uh, yeah. Like, sub, share my stuff with your friends, and don't make this shit your whole identity, alright? You know who you are, I fucking see you. Yeah, yeah, you. Anyways, I I'll see you all next time or something.